Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce to you uh, the first transition pack available from 40tv.com. It's available for download at 40tv.com slash downloads. This uh, pack is called Transitions Pack Version 1 Lite. To install the plugin, you want to open up your users folder, navigate to your movies directory, open that up and look for motion templates. Inside motion templates, you're going to navigate to the transitions folder and drag and drop the 40TV folder into the transitions folder. If you already have a 40TV folder in there, then just drag and drop the 40TV transitions pack version 1 light into 40TV. Later when I release the pro version of this plugin, which will include the two transitions that come with the light version along with several others, you can drag and drop the 40TV transition pack 1 pro into the 40TV folder and delete the light version. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window and let's get started. If you had Final Cut Pro X open before while you were installing the plugin, go ahead and close it and reopen it. Now that we have that open, uh, I have two pictures I've taken at a, the LA County Fair recently loaded into my timeline to demonstrate the two plugins. Let's navigate on over to my Transitions browser. You can get to it by clicking on this button here. Then navigate to the 40TV folder and you can find the two uh, transitions that ship with Transition Pack 1 Lite. First is Spinner. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that on top of uh, our two clips. What Spinner does, it basically pulls out of the first clip, spins around to reveal the second clip. That clip spins around and then it uh, pushes back in onto that clip. You'll notice that there is a reflection below the clips. Um, yeah, so that's the spinner. I'll go ahead and delete that. There are no options to that transition. If you want to, uh, I'm sorry, if you want to increase or decrease the time that spinner takes, just go ahead and drag out or drag in on the handles. If you shorten it, it's obviously it's going to happen over a faster time frame. If you elongate uh, it, then this is going to happen at a much slower pace. So let's go ahead and delete that. And this applies for all the transitions. These transitions have default lengths. Um, and so basically, uh, if you elongate or shorten them, it's going to keep the animation as smooth as it was originally. Um, but if you notice right now, they override um, the current transition lengths you have set in Final Cut Pro X. The Vertical Blind Reveal plugin has uh, some options. Well, actually, it has a option. And it's how the reveal occurs. It can either uh, occur staggered or simultaneous. I prefer it staggered, but let me show you what the look looks like. Basically, each pane happens in a staggered fashion. If you want them to happen simultaneously, just switch back on over to simultaneous, and you can see how that looks. Again, if you want to make sure that this uh, effect happens over a slower or takes uh, place over a, a longer time frame, or slows down the effect, just elongate your transition. If you want it to happen faster, just shorten your transition. Guys, I hope you like this plugin. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've released two other plugins on 40tv.com for purchase. Arrows Plus Pro, which is uh, an addition to Arrows Plus Lite. It includes 15 hand animated arrows. And then a frames plugin, which has a stylized effect that is applied to a clip um, in order to break it apart into an artistic form, controlling different amounts of frames, etc. I'm going to make a video on that one later today to show you guys, but go check it out, 40tv.com shop. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, I'm out.